Gemini, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is not a horoscope. It is an energy reading. So Gemini, this applies to sun, moon, rising Gemini. Anywhere in your chart, Gemini energy influences um, or a Gemini that's influencing you externally. <laughs> it can apply there too. Um, this is the beginning of the reading. There is an extended portion of the reading that I do welcome you to join me for. It is a full tarot card spread that expands upon the energies we pick up here. It articulates it. It gets into specific details and personalizes the reading. And it also includes a romantic reading or romantic um, interpretation of the, the two readings. Um, please do click subscribe and ring that bell because even though I don't put any dates on the videos anymore, Gemini, I do um, create a new Gemini video every single week. Uh, those of you who support the channel already know that, but those of you who are just finding me, um, if you ring that bell, you'll get all the notifications and I hope you do subscribe. So let's get into your reading, Gemini. Okay. Interesting. All right. Oh, and there we have it. Crowning your energy. Trust in the magic. And this is love. It could be new love. This is an energy of six plus six is 12, which adds up to three, which is holy trinity and balance. Trust in the newness. There is a new beginning here. There is a new start. Could be a new love. Could be new potential. It could just be newness in general. Gemini, this is the north node. Could also represent the north node going into Gemini in about a month. Um, so a new perspective, also uh, you being very comfortable with the perspective that is um, sort of taking over. So you would be the guiding force, this newness, this freshness, you would be the, the guiding light uh, once, once the North Node moves into Gemini from Cancer. Um, so this is a fresh start. This is a new beginning. This is sort of a new personification of yourself, uh, revamping how people see you, how the world sees you. Um, because you are that hub now of of the guidance system of how people like lightening up people this is air energy this is like lightening up like lightening up the mood people not taking things as seriously as they had the heavy is being released it's being let go it's um being practical in conversation being particular maybe um um maybe even um looking at the small stuff and taking more care and treating it like it's more like treating it more precious enjoying and finding enjoyment in the smaller details um, dream the world into being eight, nine, 10, 11, awakening, um, awakening, like arising from the dead and looking into the future and looking hopefully toward the future. So Gemini, your crowning energy is, uh, an optimism, an optimism for the future or a new beginning that's taking over in your life, uh, a new start. You optimistically are looking, uh, you know that there are still demons chasing you, but you're burying them. This is the dead are about to be buried. Those, the, whatever in the past was in the past that was, is challenging you is about to be left behind because the future is far more interesting. It's far more, it's far closer. It's the future is closer than the past. And this is the energy that you can feel now. You can feel a renewal, a, re, a, re, a reemergence, a vibrancy that you haven't felt in a long time. So this is that energy that is crowning you this week. This is a good, very good energy. Also your energy in the energy of three, one plus two is three, feeling really balanced, singing your own song, talking, communicating, and being listened to. Like your communications and the things that you're saying being taken seriously. This is also liberation and freedom. Finally feeling some freedom. Um, the cage bird, the cage doors finally swinging free. Bringing music back into your life, which is a metaphor for balance. It's a metaphor for uh, gentle communication. It's a metaphor for purpose, but it's also maybe actually practical and tangible. You could be actually singing a song, performing, um, sharing your gifts, or sharing your energies. You're definitely being listened to. Sing your own song, feeling liberated, being able to be yourself again and be accepted for yourself and not being denied or questioned, yada, yada, yada. Um, sometimes life stings. Six plus four is the energy of complete. 
So this is an energy of um, completion. So whatever the BS was, this is something that was irritating or nagging at you, maybe causing you to be ill, world sickness, world pandemic, if you will. This is like an illness of buzzing, like the gadfly nagging persecution from your community at large all of this is coming sort of to a head this could be um this could be like a completion a completion of a cycle um this could be something still nagging at you still bugging you something to do with the world wide web but it's almost like catching that fly that bug in the web sometimes life stings the hurt and the pain i feel you're finally getting liberated from um and then we have learn from the past, freeing yourself from the past. The energy of five plus seven is, uh, um, five plus two is, seven. okay, let me go back. The energy of two plus five is seven. So working to create a new life based on what you have learned from the past. This is Taurus energy. This is like, like, like uh, growing up, almost maturation, a sense of knowing your purpose and knowing your, knowing your, uh, your um trajectory and being certain of it because you know where you came from and you've learned you've learned the lessons you're basically reviewing all the people that have basically hurt you in the past and you're like taking stock and making sure that the lessons have, have been ingrained you're learning from all the experiences you've had in the past um um you're also learning from the way that people talk about you. There is a sense of getting wise and understanding um, how people feel about you or how people perceive you by the way that they speak about you, even behind your back or in public, how people speak about you, uh, letting it reveal, letting them reveal themselves to you by the way that they behave when you're not in the room or the way that they behave when you, um, when they don't think that you're looking or watching. It could definitely be sort of a little bit of sleuthing and looking on the internet or looking on social media profiles to see how people are talking about you, how they speak of you. And like, like using that as a cumulative to push forward. So in other words, it could actually be having a surprisingly good effect on you. People could be speaking well of you finally. Um, time to heal. This is Kundalini energy. Um, um, finding that healing in that sort of sensual feeling, that sort of coiling in your stomach, what, being ready to spring forward, being ready to let the poison out. That's what this is. It's transcendence or change. This is also the energy of five, five plus five is 10. You have more completion. So stomping out the snake, um, completing that cycle of all the toxins in your life. Um, being able to purge them from your system and use the purging as a fuel to heal yourself, to be able to control the toxins or get them under control, somehow being able to release them. But, but like this could also be, hold on, because this is your central energy. So this is almost seeing it's like, it's almost like you're looking at, at a certain circumstance or situation. You could be, so this is Taurus energy right here. Um, this is like, you, you could be looking at the situation and realizing and assessing it and seeing how to do it in or undermine it as a defense for yourself. Like that kind of energy of feeling like, like a snake would see a, 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 a big old elephant coming its way, right? And you know, you would think and when the snake pounces and uses its venom to kill this big old elephant or make it sick, you would think the snake is the bad guy. Really the snake is just defending itself because the tor the tor like the elephant was charging at it and it didn't have any other choice. So this is releasing your venom to defend yourself and to take down whatever it was that was posing a threat to you. This could be somebody that has been coming after you for quite some time. Um, there is always enough. You definitely have enough venom because I feel like it's been built up over a long time, but there's this energy of three plus six. So feelings and emotions coming to the surface. Um, your emotions are surfacing, especially with that Kundalini energy, that's that snake healing energy. All your feelings are being brought to the surface and the truth is coming out about the way that you feel and you're not hiding it anymore. You're also not hiding your, your, um, um, you're not hiding your intentions to defend yourself and defend yourself in whatever way that you have to, because you're tired of almost kind of like being trampled on 
or people, the way that people are talking about you or what is being said about you. This is a sense, this is Piscean energy of, um, um, like feeling comfortable in your own emotions to the point where you're not even trying to hide them anymore. Uh, allowing them to be seen or allowing um, things that were, uh, no, just allowing those feelings to come to the surface and be seen. Co-create with spirit. This is divine timing. Um, so a lot of things had to come into place for you, Gemini, for you to be able to get this opportunity, to be able to completely be transparent and expose yourself and feel like you were going to be listened to if you spoke. This is a good news coming, like on the wings of darkness. There's, there's a light at the end of the tunnel or um, bringing the light out, bringing, bringing the light bringing the light into the darkness or um, carrying the light out of the darkness. This kind of thing of like being able to see the, like I said, the light at the end of the tunnel, the new beginning. Um, this is divine timing. So I do think timing is in your favor. And if you had to stall or if you had to hesitate, you did the right thing. You made the right choice because now things are aligning in your favor and finally being able to sort of expose some sort of hidden like nefarious activity or or um, things that had been rotting away. Um, this is that energy once again of, of emerging. Um, it is such a powerful energy, and it's it's being very cautious. Maybe even learning from your own past that you don't want to release this energy in the wrong direction. You don't want to spew it, and you don't want to because you know that using this energy is very dangerous. It's like a nuclear energy; it could get out of hand really quickly. So you you are are learning. You know that because it maybe exploded on you from the past. So this is a sense of yes, you're still willing to use it, but you need to do it wisely, and you need to loot. You need to wait to just the right time and you're using your instincts and your maybe even psychic abilities. You're sort of trusting in spirit and going with the flow to know that you'll know exactly when to pounce and who to pounce on and exactly when to spring uh, for, to, to get the, to make the most out of this energy and to have it do what it needs to do for you, which is protect you and defend you and ensure that you get a good life. This is also an energy of nine, um, being protective, defensing. I also feel like hiding, hiding your true intentions for now or not really wanting to share with everybody. Like, something is coming to the surface, yes, and something is coming out, but you're not going to, you want to control the release. You don't want it to just come out randomly. So this is a protective barrier you may be putting between yourself and others. Um, uh, this is also um, uh, the energy of, once again, I will defend myself at all costs. Uh, this is mama bear energy. So you could have a very strong influence in your life, maternal influence in your life, defending you, sticking up for you, um, um, protecting you. Um, um, but you are definitely being protected right now and taken care of. And, and you have somebody watching over your shoulder. Could be from the spirit realm as well. Uh, and this is your grounding energy. Use your mind wisely. You are. You are. This is uh, the energy of four plus seven is awakening. Uh, like having your mind wide open and not being blocked in. Learning from the past, but being wide open with how to use this information. Making the impossible happen and flipping things in a way that you are able to sort of regenerate yourself and get a new beginning where you thought everything was hopeless. So this is when pigs fly uh, and really uh, putting your whole self into it. Um, this is Turkey Spirit, give with gratitude and grace. Six plus one equals seven. So giving all of yourself. And by giving all of yourself and putting your whole self in, you are finally turning the tide and moving things forward. Or this is grounding you. Like just giving yourself over and complete, like, like the, in other words, the commitment to the impossible and putting your whole self in is what is grounding you because it's giving you hope for the future. Um, and then slow and steady wins the race. Six plus two also adds up to eight. This is Cancerian energy of feeling really good in your space of using your shell as a means of defense, but it's not weighing you down. It's using the flow and the tide, like I said, being really tied into the flow right now. 
maybe the flow has been turning in your favor and it's able to now carry you and make you not so heavy. So it's almost like the, like, like I could say the tide has turned in your favor. You, you didn't see it. You may not have seen it coming. Um, even if you prayed for it, but there is a sense of the tide turning in your favor and that's the impossible that's happening. Like not even being able to believe that you're finally able to get what you want because things looked really bad there for a while. Uh, so let me turn this energy. Let me turn this camera. I'm not, not turn the energy around. Let me flip the camera around Gemini. Hold on. So here you go. The tide is turning. Um, you weren't messing around here. You decided to go all in because essentially whatever was attacking you or threatening you was a lot bigger than you. Um, it was a mentality more than even just a person. So it was a sense of lit literally having to pull out all the punches and think, well, what can I do to defend myself against this? Well, you, you dug really, really deep and you said, if I need to, if I need to, if I need to poison them, if I need to attack them through poison, that's what I'm going to do. Because you know what? They wouldn't have even had to worry about me if they weren't coming at me with everything that they had and using all these horrible defenses of like pop, like pop culture or, or, you know, getting other people people on their side and, and like, and, and making them, making you seem like the bad guy type of energy. This, this is like, you know, um, you know, like, uh, like sort of attacking you and using like your network or your friend's network in order to attack you or try to get after you or get at you. Um, so this is a sense of Gemini, you basically coming back sort of out of the bush and defending, defending yourself like ambush, ambush predator style, but you had to wait for the right time. You, 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 this is all about timing. The ambush, being an ambush predator is all about timing. Um, you have to wait for just the right time when everything is really close. So it's going to take patience. You're in it for the long haul. You're putting your whole self in. You will, you basically decided that you're going to achieve the impossible because it's not going to, you're not going to allow any, any, any other way. It won't happen any other way. Um, um, you're you're sort of motivated. This, in some way, whoever was was getting at you or after you has motivated you to make a new life for yourself, turn over a new leaf, to start over and and change, change yourself and uh, sort of bring in an era of a new a new change or usher in a new mentality. Because this is like I said, Aquarius energy of a, a new mentality. An old mentality is dying out and a new mentality is being ushered in and that is definitely that north node gearing up to switch over to your energy in about a month so let's uh if you'd like to continue on with this reading yeah. let's get a few more details about what's coming out and maybe even uh yeah what you're dealing with uh we're going to go into a full tarot card spread and of course your romance reading uh gemini the extended link is below <laughs> 